Hey, I'm Joe DiGiulio. I'm excited to be back in the studio today. I'm going to be working with some fantastic uh, products here, the FX palette knives, and I'm excited to play around with them, mixing them with some impasto mediums and some great Matisse colors to really create some new textural excitement on the canvas. These are in like three different groupings. You have like what I call like the King, Queen, and Jack. Uh, you have sort of like the sailfish build ones, and then you have the like a 16th inch groove, a quarter inch groove, and a half inch groove here of these slice palette knives. Now what I have done to get started here today is I've used a little bit of this uh, China Red, a very exciting background color by Matisse, and I've already pre-coated it because I want that tone to peek through when I apply the impasto medium that's mixed with the color. So I'm just going to put some arbitrary tone down just to get started. And uh, let me just set that off to the side. And uh, going to push around a little bit of these. Let's start with number nine uh, with the uh, FX palettes, uh, little exciting. Uh, Mm -hmm. See, there are some great textures that are occurring already with the, uh, these FX palette knives. I'm not sure what I want to go with this because it's in the very early beginnings, but I'm just putting a little bit of color down just to get started. Uh, I'm just liking uh, the different effects that I'm getting right here, but the whole thing was I can get some linear line shapes, I can get some squiggles with this, or I can come over it, I can take some up and remove it, kind of like a sculptural technique, and then I can actually come back over it and blot some of that out just by slowly going over the top. So I'm liking that. This time I'm going to use a number six and mix up some of this yellow deep with this impasto medium. I'm going to just do half right now, almost like a 50-50 split. Uh, it's a little bit more economical to use the impasto medium than to try to do this just with a color on its own. So you can see, look at that brilliant pop it gets. I can use the flat edge and pull it smoothly across. I'm just slowly, almost like I'm dusting. I'm just, I'm not scratching down because that's going to remove the material. That's another effect called Sgraffito, but we're not there yet. Right now, I'm just lightly applying it. Now I'm using the, with well this one, it's double, it, it has like a, a double sided. One has got the ridges, the other smooth. So I can use the smooth to lay it out and then I can come in and add the textures later on. You can see there and I can actually take and bring that right on out. Now I'm really, uh, I'm an abstract painter, so I'm not really concerning myself with painting a barn or, you know, a sky or anything like that. It's more like, I'm using this actually, actually as a test to see what different kind of effects I can get with the different uh, knives here. Now this happens to be the number six, and I do like that on one side it is uh, kind of cut into like a little, uh, like a sawtooth, and then it's smooth on the other side. So the number six is interesting in that regard. And I'm just pulling some color down. Let me sit that off to the side. Take a little wipe down of that. But you can apply very quickly and actually create some great paintings at a very quick pace uh, with these knives. Uh, a number three, this is the one I've called the king knife myself. I've got the king, the queen, and the jack, but that's my own interpretation. But this is actually a number three, and I can take, and it's great for like if you wanted to do foliage or if you were doing something more realistic, but I can actually press into it and record that really interesting indention so I could create a pattern of repeating this motif throughout the piece. Now I'm picking it up here, but I can also take the residue and use it almost like a stamp at other places. 
So it doesn't actually have to be just creating textures. I could use it to create a stamping effect if I wanted to create some kind of repeat pattern with it. Uh, this time, let's uh, break out the, uh, the little fan one here. I just used a little palette today for demonstration purposes, but you can go as big as you like. But you can already see the effects you can get from that. Ooh, I like this one quite a bit. I like these rich, exciting textures it affects. I can drag through the color that's already there and blend right on the palette. See, this gives you some tones you're just not going to get if you pre-mix here and then have a pre-mix color next to another pre-mix color on your palette. I love to blend right on the canvas, especially with these textural effects I'm getting that I really haven't seen before by using any kind of brush. So I'm really quite fond of what I'm seeing here right now. <laughs> 